Okay, so good start to this video. Radio, nothing, no one work. Everything's plugged in, the fuse is okay. I've checked in the fuse box under here. Oh, fuck's sake, why did I take it off? I've checked in the fuse box under here. Um, everything seems to be in order there. Uh, it keeps coming on and off, and then the song that I had on was very, very, very bassy. Uh, so I don't know if it's something to do with the sub. Um, but it, it, it doesn't matter how I have the radio, it will not come back on. It just turns on from time to time. Uh, you can see everything's plugged in. Those two wires are taped together because that's the only way the radio stays on. But even if I hold them together, nothing. Uh, everything in there seems to be in order, but nothing. So I'm just going to make the journey home and we're going to try and diagnose and fix this. Fuck knows what's wrong with it. This radio has always been a bit temperamental. I'm on the side of a slip road in a minute. Um, Cause it, it went out and I started smelling burning and I can't lie, I grabbed my fire extinguisher, I was ready. But it won't work. If it comes back on, I'm gonna turn it off immediately. Sorry, I'm gonna turn it down immediately and see if it's a volume issue. Um, I thought maybe it was the heat that the car, that the radio was generating, but it's almost completely cold again now and uh, it still won't turn back on. So I don't know. No. So. I don't know what's wrong with it. I really don't. But I'm going to take the radio out and have a quick look at the fuse. And have a quick look at the fuse and see if the radio fuse is blown. Because um, there's one actually in these, in the actual unit. You can see just here. This little, uh, I believe it's a 10 amp like micro fuse. I've got a load of fuses and doors. Um, so we're just going to take the radio out of the car. There we go. We've got it. So if we just pull the fuse on out here. And it doesn't look broken to me hi dad yeah it's not broken so you can see if i just nap the camera off of you we hold it up to the light at all if it's going to focus i doubt it will if it would focus that'd be fantastic i don't think it's going to but take my word for it uh the fuse isn't broken um i can see that the filament's completely intact so the radio fuse is not the problem so now we move on to a process called troubleshooting where we go through and we try and figure out what the hell's wrong with it. Now, I know that the radio, excuse me, I know the radio was working uh, on my drive home. I played Save That Ship by Peep, I think. I don't know. And that's quite a bassy song for the sub. And since then, uh, it hasn't been working. So... The next port of call for me is to pull all these wires out and we're going to check over some of the wires um, and just kind of verify that they're all good. Um, and then once we've done that, then I'm going to check the fuse in the fuse box and the glove box. Just under here, you can see I've already got the cover off. Uh, one of the 20 amp fuses uh, on the left hand side, it's going to be one of them. Um, so we're going to just do some investigating, try and figure out what the fuck is wrong with this thing. Um, and hopefully I can have this working soon enough. So these connectors, um, I'm just verifying that all the pins are okay. So they're fine in this one. The connections are fine. But the black one isn't wanted to come out. Now I'm not trying to break it because then I really have no radio. <coughs> And the coarser wiring loom that I've got for this car, funnily enough, doesn't work with the car. So I need to try and f try and get this out gently. Um, these two, so uh, this wiring harness is from a Ford Fiesta Mark VI. It was out of my Mark VI style that you would have seen on the channel. That's now in my mate Chase's ownership. Um, I'm, I need to take apart this tape and verify that these two wires are still pressed together because that's the only way that the uh, radio stays on by these wires being taped together um it's very sketch it's not ideal but it's fine all the connections on this look okay as well the wires look fine from what i can see at least yeah the connections look good um so i'm just going to try and get this black one out and check these pins in here and then because that's the only other thing i can think it would be considering the two wires that are taped together to make the radio turn on go into the port for this um where the black one is and the black one's the one that's struggling to come out so in my head there might be something wrong with a connection in there that i could just play around with until it works but i've got to try and get it out first 
stop. Chips and peas and gravy. Have it the fucking lot. Pepperoni pizza. And chicken vindaloo. I'm a big fat bastard. Because I love my, f oh. my fucking food. Oh, yeah. It won't come out, bro. sound good. Palace recently. Hmm? When you go with Palace recently? I'm going uh, towards the end of the month. What game's that? Newcastle. Away. Oh, you're going up to Saint Andrews Park? Driving there? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Five hour drive. Who are you driving with? Me, old man. Fair enough. So, the car's good. Radio's back in. Seems to be working as normal. Sub is still hecka basey. Sub is still hecka basey. Uh, I'm not playing any music at the minute, so you won't hear it, but working good. So we're all mint. As you can probably hear, I got the radio working. However, I don't know what I've done, but I was messing around with the wires it came on all of a sudden and I had no audio so I plugged the, the brown clip back in that you would have seen in one of the previous clips um, and then the audio came back on and since then this is the bass that I've had now we can't have it too loud because otherwise the radio goes back off again this is going to be like car me level because we can just about have a conversation and you can probably just about hear me but if you, just, just listen now I don't want to get copyright claims so I'm going to keep talking over the music but it is nuts I don't really understand why the bass is so mad uh, in the car I'm just taking it for a spin because I thought it was while I was driving there was a loose connection I just took it for a spin uh, and my ears are still thumping from the bass from it I don't know what song's going to come on now but yeah it's it's crazy I, I, I don't know what I've done I don't know if this is what the sub was supposed to sound like the whole time if it was nuts and I'm very happy um, but I think for normal driving to and from work and whatever else I'm going to turn the bass down somewhat um, to a point where it's bearable so I'm not driving down the road going bah, 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 in my ear the whole time don't know what song this is but yeah but yeah great success seemed to have fixed the car I guess we won't really know um, I guess we won't really know until I'll do a couple of days of driving. I've had these sorts of teething issues as soon as I put the sub in anyway. That's quite good, yeah. Uh, I've had these sort of teething issues ever since I put the sub in. Uh, this is the first one I've had with the radio now. I know the wiring for it isn't ideal. It comes out of a Fiesta Mark VI for a course of the XR, do you know what I mean? Um, and I would quite like to get a harness that splices directly in, but until I'm gonna order one later, and until that comes, this will have to do, and hopefully, because I got one from Halfords, and it didn't, it, the car just won't have it. It didn't connect whatsoever. So hopefully, if I order one online through an actual audio company, it should come and it should fit this car directly. But we'll just have to wait and see. 